What's up, YouTube? This is Dan, bringing you an Atlas strategy video for 3.9 Metamorph League. Um, with this league comes a complete overhaul to the end game. No longer is there the War for the Atlas, it's now Conquerors of the Atlas. Uh, the end game is completely changing. What I have behind me is an Atlas where there's uh, you know now watchstones and stuff like that that can be socketed in. A lot of content to cover because of this new end game, but uh, also not a lot of content because we don't know everything there is to know yet. So what are we going to cover in this video? One will kind of be an introduction into what this series is if you're a newer player. Um, <clears throat> two will be kind of a strategy going in uh, to the league that I'm calling the 161 strategy. And then we're, we're going to talk about sextant blocking, what Xana map mods I like the most, and then why I think you should probably try and farm tier 14 plus maps in the upcoming league um, if you can. Okay, so let's get into it. What is this series about? Um, it's a series kind of aimed at intermediate to advanced players. So if you're a new player, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to use a lot of lingo and stuff that may not make sense. Uh, my perspective is that of a softcore trade league player. If you're looking for solo self-found hardcore strats, you're not going to find those here. Um, I'm not a full-time content creator or YouTuber or whatever. Uh, this is just kind of my hobby after work. And so when I get off work, I kind of want to just spend the most time, most efficient time I can when I do play Path of Exile um, and, you know, reach my currency goals of like farming up a headhunter or stuff like that. So everything that I will be talking about in this series is mostly aimed at, you know, generating currency or exploring whatever the new league mechanic is upcoming. Um, so that's what my perspective is. That's what the series is. I release a video kind of a couple days or a week before the uh, new league comes out and then one or two weeks after the league has been out I'll open up my atlas and then show you guys how it how it went you know how it went towards that strategy so upcoming league what is my strategy going in um, I just mentioned it earlier but it's called the 161 strategy and there are eight regions kind of behind me and you can see these like little watchstones here that you're going to be socketing to you know, socket things into your regions to make them how they are in the back here. This atlas behind me is actually all red maps, and that's because it's a fully socketed atlas. Uh, but I actually don't think that this is the, the right thing to do. I think if you want to be efficient about your atlas, the best way to set it up is to do 161. So one region being red maps, maybe six regions being yellow maps, and then one region being white maps. So why would you want to do that? Um, basically, if your entire atlas is red maps, what will happen is if a yellow map would drop, like a tier 10 map would drop, it has no available tier 10 map on your atlas and it will downgrade all the way to a tier one map. That's really bad value. That's not something you would want. Um, you know, why would you only wanna have one region be red or one region be yellow or one region be white? It's so you can kind of get a bigger stock of those maps. And in the case of red maps, which I plan on running, I want to kind of give myself the best chance to farm the red maps that I'm interested in. Um, in the case of either yellow or white maps, I chose um, white maps as the one that I kind of want to bulk sell. So if you go to the trade website, basically you can go to bulk item exchange, you go to maps, maybe select a map, I chose channel here, and you can you know put in a stock of five here on the bottom, hit search, and then all the players with five or more channel maps are going to show up, and you can see here, you know, for one chaos each, this guy has a stock of 11, I can, uh, you know, buy his maps. But the only reason he was able to get that big of a stock is because, you know, maybe it had a higher chance of dropping dropping that channel map, right, as a, as a white map. So I'm going to go into the league. I'm going to try and first get my atlas like this, which is 155 out of 155, kind of do as much atlas completion as I can. But when it comes time to farm, uh, I'm going to kind of take out some of the watchstones. So only one region is red, six of them will be yellow, and then one of them will be white. Um, like I said, just to give myself the best chance possible. Now, which region I choose will depend a lot on which watchstones do what. Um, you know, how many, how much competition do I have for the tier 16 map that I'm trying to farm? <clears throat> uh, you know, which white map kind of gives me the best chance at giving giving me a sellable map. You know, I know white burial chambers, for example, might be pretty popular. So if I can leave that, um, you know, low tier, maybe I'll do something like that. Um, so that's kind of the strategy, you know, definitely see what we do in the upcoming weeks. Uh, feel free to stop by on Twitch and, and see kind of how that Atlas progression is going. It's kind of my plan for the upcoming league. I want to talk a little bit about sextant blocking. Sextant blocking is now back, but sextants are now being applied to the watchstones themselves. <clears throat> Basically, instead of just, you know, putting in four watchstones and then rolling your sextants on those four watchstones, 
you know, you're going to have simple, prime, and uh, awakened sextants now. I don't know which ones are going to be the best, but I know that when you go to roll them, you should at least put them into another region. So for this example, I'm going to do the inner top left region here is the one that I want to run. So what I'll do is I'll take the watchstone that's maybe in this red socket here, go put it into this region where, <coughs> where we have you know, three badly rolled watchstones. So these three badly rolled watchstones will be blocking bad mods for the red watchstone that I'm actually trying to roll. So then I do that. And then similarly for the yellow and the green and the blue, I want to kind of eliminate as many bad mods as possible from the pool. I know that seems like a small thing, you know, hey, you're only eliminating three mods, but say you're making your sextants 5% better, 10% better, over the course of a large enough sample size, that stuff really starts to add up. So that's something that you should look out for in the upcoming week. One other thing is that um, you can actually roll the same mod twice. So what can happen, <clears throat> um, I'm sorry, you could socket the same mod twice because these watchstones and sextants are movable. So if my red sextant rolled strong boxes and say I put my yellow one in there and then I roll strong boxes again, uh, I could put them both in the same region, but they will only count one time. So, you know, if you want to save that one that you rolled um, and you want to stack it with something else, go put that yellow one that you rolled now into another region, and just kind of hold it. Since you're only really target farming one region, um, you know, you can use all of the other regions to kind of hold the watch zones that you don't care about or that you're saving for later. This will make a lot more sense once I post the Atlas strategy update. More experienced players who know about sex and blocking kind of already know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, just wait for that Atlas strategy update and I'll, I'll give you guys an example of me rolling sextants in the upcoming league. Um, next, I want to talk a little bit about the Xana map mods that I like the most. Um, basically, at Legion, as soon as you get it, so once you've completely done your Awakener quest line, Legion will be the best, I think. Um, depends on which version of Legion we're getting, but I assume for 6C they're going to make it the nice juicy one that was apparent in uh, Legion League. After you get your Headhunter, Beyond is always really good. I think it's worth mentioning some of these other ones. So Essence is really good if it's a crafting league, which I assume it is because of these new exalted orbs that are going to be out. Um, Anarchy is good, similar to Warbands from the last patch. Uh, there's a combo that you can get with the uh, Possessed Foe Prophecy, basically making all unique monsters possessed. And then if you get the Sextant that gives you Scarabs for each um, possessed unique monster, you know, you want to combo it here with the Anarchy. So that's something that you can do to add unique monsters to the map. I think Bloodlines for 3C is always a great choice for sustain. And then, yeah, Nemesis, you know, if you want to chance your headhunters or whatever. Um, personally, I'll probably be doing Fortune Favors the Brave just because I like how dynamic the gameplay is and it's it's always fun. I think it's actually pretty good value. You're not too sad when you get Essence and Anarchy and everything else is either break it even or positive value, which is pretty nice. Uh, what you might not be able to see when the text behind me is that they're saying all four synthesis maps can now drop as unique items and they can only be acquired from killing the map boss. So when we're talking about what maps we want to run, we want to be killing those map bosses and uh, you need to be in a tier 14 or greater map in order to get the Cortex drop. So, you know, these are going to be tradable now. That's huge news. I assume easy to run Cortexes will probably be like around an Exalt or something like that, depending on how rare it is. So definitely give yourself an opportunity for those to drop. So farm those tier 14 plus maps um, in your new socketed atlas. Anyways, that's kind of all the content I have for this video. Feel free to put any questions in the comments below and then, uh, you know, subscribe for the atlas strategy update that we'll put out in uh, a week or two. Thank you guys for stopping by and I will see you guys in the next one.